Okay, so what's the key to shooting a pan shot? Well, since it's Friday, uh, pan shot Friday, it's uh, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. <laughs> um, where you want to start? I mean, it's it shouldn't be something you just do for the sake of doing. There'll be certain situations that lend itself to it. So when you're trying to illustrate speed, or there's good light or darkness, um, or you're bored because it's right at number, <laughs> right at number 59 and 60 dropping in and you've got some time to kill. Yeah, so, so Sven comes up with challenges like, uh, you know, we come here to shut a speed, but sometimes like, oh, who can get the lowest? It doesn't work anyway, but it's like time to kill, like uh, waiting for pro training and all this stuff. So it can be a fine challenge, but you should not just pan shot everything. So what is... And, and, uh, I mean, basically the idea between uh, in any type of photography, not just uh, round mic, you basically tracking the subject, matching its speed, so that the background blurs, and... Excuse me. Mm. Oh, grind the beans. <laughs> so, and basically what you're doing is drawing attention to the subject. So to illustrate speed, you want to follow the, the subject and then you have trees, bushes, crowds, flowers um, in the foreground and the background which streaks and creates, you can get interesting patterns with coarse tape, uh, bunting. But now you said like what you're doing but people actually know what a pan shot is so you, you create this you know usually you would freeze the picture but with a pan shot you know it's like quite low shutter speed you know when you hear a camera like click click and everything the movement which happens in between this click and click will be like the light is like the, your, your shutter is open the whole time and then the light is exposing on the sensor so what would be a typical shutter speed for a normal shot and a pan shot normal shot in action you're trying to keep it above thousand of a second roughly um, and the pan shot you can start if, it, if it's faster than moving the subject you can go a little bit faster shutter speed but ideally to get a real nice effect you're starting at about a thirtieth of a second um, with mountain bike speeds it's, it's a good speed to create blur in the background. But to start with it it's not necessary it's not necessary no. as you said before it's not necessary you can work your way like, down. Oh, you have to have a 30s otherwise it's not a pan shot you know like to you like if you're shooting if this is a super fast section you can create the same lines it's a bit safer you know because each movement is like the click click so you have to go you have to wrist the rider and every movement of the camera every movement of the rider will fuck it up so you need exactly the point where, you, where your camera moves at the same speed uh, as the rider and so uh, get started you can start with the 60s or even the 70s when you're when it's fast enough or you can like it's blind work you know sometimes you know like you have to play it a bit safer it, it just differs kind of the situation you know a real smooth bit of cross-country track or here or even downhill you can you can go quite a bit slower as long as the line is constant downhill there's often holes like i'll try to shoot them in jumps when the arc is quite common normal so when there's the bell curve in the arc it's harder because you've got to manage that but you you know shooting cross country or road you can go like a fifth of a second even yeah. even slower if it's dark enough um creative artistry yeah and then you know you can even like what do you have you can uh, get uh, uh pan burn so buddy and uh photo photo i think it's he's a he's a pan finish pan. line cross country specialist yeah. and also like the uh, radio pan. i always thought it's radio it's duncan. duncan's the oh, yeah, radio radio pan. i always thought it's radio pan so it took like four years or five years that i knew it was it's actually called radio, radio. How would it be a radio pan huh? it's not radio but you say radio so it sounds to me like radio so i always call people like hey how's the radio pan working and that's actually when you have a fish eye and you 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 move like it's not so just the riders going around the corner you, you, you don't go with it you know like you turn you have to get the curve of the fish eye and, and then now there's it's a radio not a radio and then there's the uh, the vertical pan so it's going to track you with the rider yeah. the rider's coming into a steep section what william finish uh, finish area so you then you're doing okay this is what a, uh, this is what a fast pan and a slow pan sounds like uh, if you can pick this up on the um, so if you were doing like say like an 80, the, a, 80 second pan you'd be like it's quite fast but if you were doing a much slower pan it'll be like yeah. <laughs> so, so, so we're like yeah yeah, yeah. Uh. so you try and try. <laughs> do you have to adjust any of the other settings on your camera yeah you know, usually you try to get as you low as possible with the ISO. You're letting more light in, so you've got to uh, close the lens and 
have a less sensitive film in your camera. Oh, well, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to be a pan shot crew. So we will, uh, while, you, while this is going through, you'll see some of our favorite pans that are made. Oh yeah, okay. Adding more editing work for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Five, so interaction, dude. <laughs> Kids don't want to like, they want interaction. They want to like do stuff. Oh God. All right. Thank you guys are the best. Thank you. <laughs>